Hello, hello, sweeties. How are you doing today? It is a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Lots of things happening. I hope you're doing well. Mm, kind of a busy morning, but I had you guys on my mind. So we're going to begin with the Taurus reading, and then I'm going to do connections for you, some requests, okay? Thank you for having a little patience with me. <laughs> um, I, I want to do some more requests. I also have um, a lot of new things to put up on my eBay site. I have to um, upload the pictures for you, and hopefully I'll have that done by tonight, okay? Um, I'm going to put some of my older um, tarot decks on there, too, in case you're interested. Um, what else? I should be up to date with everything. Okay, if you um, were looking for something specific, let me know, and I'll do my best to find it for you. Something that um, that you saw on the site that that you would like that is um, whatever I can do for you. Taurus. 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 One more time, Taurus. Thank you, Heart of Spirit. Help me. Help me be of help to my lovely friends here. Taurus, come through. Six of Wands, I see it, I feel it, this is communication. Um, how can I relate this to you? How can I relate this to you? Um, there's so much to say, there's, there, there's, there's so much to, to relate to. I have to find a way to communicate with you. There's so much to, to say. We'll go forward. So yeah, seven of cups in reverse and to the sun. You're gonna fight you're gonna feel everything. You're gonna feel everything here. Are you able to see that? Here, let me try something. Is that helpful? I want you, it's important for me that you work with me on these cards so that you, you know, we're in this together, okay? Queen of Cups, how important she is, how necessary, of course, just very thankful. In the middle of your reading, the hanged man, seeing things not just from a new perspective, no, no, it's more than that. Seeing things from a brand new perspective, I'm not going to be moved. I'm waiting for my son to come through. You see here the, the, the crescent moon waiting. Okay, continue. King, Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. Oh, pre-empress, nine of pentacles to the beautiful ace of wands, my inspiration. My um, tugging at my heartstrings. At the bottom of this deck, informing the energy of this read, is the Nine of Swords in reverse. And in a Wizard of Oz fashion, we hear the um, cowardly lion say, Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? Okay. So, 
how can I say this? I, I some of you are. I, I just. I feel it. it. It's. It's been so hard. It's been too much. It's been. Um, where are they? They're gone. They're not speaking to me. I don't feel. I, I. Is it true? Is it true that you no longer feel this connection, or is that um, you? What is it? Tell me in the comments. Tell me what is it? Um, this connection is anything but easy. There is. There's challenges with communication, but you see, it's our first set of cards here. Let's go on to, um, oh, no, 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 no. I have to ask. Clarification, please. Please help me help Taurus. Please help me help Taurus. Please help me help Taurus. Thank you. We need this clarification, please. So, six of wands, we go to the ten of hearts, the ten of cups. I have so much to tell you. I have so much I, I need to say to you. I, the, the, the great unsaid but understood. The great unsaid but understood. King of wands. The direction, we need a direction for this conversation, this communication. Okay, and King of Wands is looking right at the beautiful Empress, which is Torian, absolutely, Torian vibes. No, Torian energy. She is everything. We sure do need that help. Full of love, I need this direction go, to go to the Empress. So if you if you follow the, this channel, if you've subscribed, um, you understand what this first group of of cards means to me as a reader. Of course, every reader is different, so th there's no right or wrong. It's who you connect with. But but to me, this starts the story. This is this begins. <sighs> Don't give up. The Seven of Cups. There have been so many, but it's in reverse. Seven of Cups. There has been. There have been so many. Um, unanticipated and um, uninvited um, nasty surprises nasty little surprises not necessarily from your person but within the circumstance so no longer is someone in the defensive posture I'm no longer going to have to defend work um, see how much they're working. It's like everyone is pointing at them with their wand and, and trying to knock them off of their ascended position. Take that as it is. They're knocking. They're trying to knock them off of their defended, their their ascended position, and they can't do it. They won't do it. They won't be moved. It's in anticipation of this communication. No longer in the shoulda, woulda, couldas. Sometimes. So this is the first this is the first statement and then this is the the statement that follows it. It is so beautiful. 7 of cups to the 7 of wands. They're both in reverse along with the 8 of swords in reverse. But in the middle of this is the anticipation anticipatory motion. Uh -oh. The most difficult and arduous journeys are oftentimes they lead to the most beautiful destinations. Look at the sun, that Leo energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel, I know I felt like, and I owe you an apology because I feel like I, I, I betrayed. I, look, I feel like I betrayed and took away the, the gift of our time together. But please know um, the sun, the sun card, the happiest card in the tarot deck shows its beautiful face. The Queen of Cups is here to help regulate, help regulate some of those um, bee, bees that just um, dive bomb. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but um, on a ladder outside when I was um, doing something with a, cleaning a gutter or something, I disturbed a little, little itty bitty bee's nest. It wasn't a, a ferocious anything, but I had a hat on, thank goodness, because they kept on like hitting my hat. 
um, I, maybe I could have gotten stung, but they were like, get away from our little hive, our busyness, get away from our busyness, busy, beesness, or get away from our beesness, bees nest, bees nest. And um, that's what I, I, I see. She's almost like, uh, it's um, like collecting bees or something, someone else's bees nest. And it, she's preventing them from dive bombing your head, your brain with these possible little stings right underneath the King of Wands. The tower moment occurred. So something occurred just recently in order for this person to say to themselves, I need to connect with Taurus. I need to come forward. So here's the thing. Yeah. What is your energy right now in this connection? I've read your comments and I, I've seen people say, I've, you know, I'm done. I've given up. I can't take this anymore. I understand. I understand. It makes perfect sense. We're human beings, not lima beans. We, we're not robots. We, we have beginning and middles and ends to our, our energy level. Just, um, but this is tarot. I'm reading the energy in this connection. It's a beautiful, gorgeous connection. Is it wrought with um, difficulties and challenges? Absolutely. But that's part of the growth. You were always on my mind. I'm just, I haven't told you, that's all. You've been always on my mind, close to my heart, all around me. I just haven't expressed this. The Empress is here, just like looking at. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not amused. She said, I'm not amused. I understand. I understand. The Hanklin. Not just... Again, not just a, a different perspective, a new perspective. Uh, I have so much to offer. I have so much to give. I've been working hard. Um, it's sustainability. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is right here. She's the card of increase. Ten of Pentacles is here. Also, the Eight of Pentacles. I've been working diligently. The devil's in the details. If I could only, if I could only express to you um, some sorrow, some sadness... What is the, the end result that you see? Is it, okay, let me give you an example from me. I know that I have um, at least three direct connections to, to other entities on this earth plane in this lifetime. I'm separate and I know I'll never um, be in a, a couple's relationship with them. Um, but I pray for them and I enjoy seeing them when they are, when their energy is forward. And um, I also know when they're in pain because intuitively we're connected. But for me, it wouldn't work out that I would be in like a relationship with them. It, it just, we're not on the same um, trajectory. So here's my question to you is I don't know what you're what you see Taurus I don't know what you see as what you want with um the end game with this connection now some it's going to be a relationship some it's going to be a home a sustainable home with with beauty and love and and some of you are already there with that coupleship some of you the coupleship start and stop almost like a strobe light which is at one time dizzying and almost a little maddening because you want to see clearly but the the lights go on and off i i know I, i'm i i sorry i don't mean to say i know in like a minimalist type of of language it's just in certain types of elevated Ascended love. Um, it's it's a it's a, if you reach across time and and vastness and send this unconditional love, and at some point, well, for me, for me, it 
um, for these three connections, it is more than enough because I enjoy the 5D time that we have together. But I just, I need to know, um, or maybe you can consider what it is that you want for your end game, the death and new beginnings. We might come to a point in our advancement as, as spiritual entities that we go beyond um, a traditional culturally defined idea of relationship. We don't, I mean, this is everyone's on their own soul journey. So death and new beginnings has to do with the idea of what they want to give to you. Um, there are possibility of what they're actually, they're really spending time looking at what they have to offer and spending time trying to make um, resources to be able to offer that to you. So um, as you're sitting in the two of swords energy, consider what it is that you want to happen. I see you want to stand up and point to someone and say, listen, I want this connection. I understand that. I get it. Um, I just want you to find your peace as well. Find your peace. Love in itself is such a high calling that um, sometimes it's, well, for me, it's enough. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. I think this has to do with you finding your peace. Of course, this message won't be for everyone. This is the price that you pay for being an enlightened being. Um, your your relationship with even the energy of love is going to be different than other people's relationship with love. Um, the King of Cups is here. Right, right. Of course, he has to be near his queen. I don't want him to cover her up. So there you go. Right by his queen. So I see this is a very traditional... Um, <laughs> you're the other part of you're the other half of my heart I get it it's such a, a deep classic romantic um, at times tragic love connection yeah but w would we want anything else really no I know it's painful but um, there are parts of the roller coaster ride that are exhilarating and other parts that are terrifying it's still part of the ride. Um, going into Four of Swords energy is brilliant. When you are feeling this part of, I don't want to put words or, or ideas in your mind, but when you're close to despair, retreat, regroup, recharge. Yeah, and, and never forget someone is always, I've got my eye on you. I got my eye on you. And again, I'm so sorry for this pain, but I'm not sorry for the love. Nine of Pentacles, this is also the card, not just of pre-Empress, but of increase. So we have Eight of Pentacles to Nine of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. It increases. Someone wants to give, from the Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, someone wants to give um, uh, an offer. And uh, they have a proposal. Uh, they have an idea. They have a plan stand. Yeah, going into the hermit mode. Uh, this is, again, when we're, at, we're thinking about plans. Even if someone's going to present you with a plan, a proposal, something like that, I want you to, to be prepared. Um, know what it is in your, your deepest heart and soul, these little corners that, you, that um, sometimes are not as illuminated as, as others. Use that lantern to really look at it, what it is that you want, um, not just ideally, but yeah. How many lifetimes have have you guys gone through this? That's part of the reticence, of Nine of Cups. You know that this you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. I understand that. But I also, I'm able to pick up how many lifetimes the two of you have worked through um, emotions, feelings, understanding of 
the situation, this connection, and yourselves. Ace of Wands, this is the universe's gift to keep you... Thank you for the Three of Pentacles. To keep you... Optimistic? Can we say optimistic? Can we try? Three of Pentacles, it's... Listen, you, this is a universally con, divine connection, and um, there is help from the other side of the veil. Definitely. I see a, a motherly figure helping. Um, three of Swords in reverse. This is the echoes of love, pain, uh, echoes of love, heartache not heartbreak it's just this connection that if it was not painful there would be no reason to have any kind of emotion it's only when we feel that um need to we need to resolve what it is what we feel in our hearts that we come to seeing life in a different, not just perspective, but an, a brand new perspective. And the Queen of Pentacles in all her beauty. She's the mama bear. She's going to make sure everything is delved out equally, attention and affection given equally. Framing this reading is the energy of Nine of Swords, but in reverse, right? So it's a growing process. Again, I'm sorry for the pain, but I'm not sorry for the love. There are so many beautiful aspects to this reading. Communication. Wheel of Fortune. The Pentacles of Love. The Cups of Love. King and Queen of Cups. So, the ride continues. I'm going to... Um, Touch bases back with you guys. So just make sure you're okay. Please keep your chin up and keep looking for the stars. Okay? Love you guys. Bunches like bananas. Bye-bye.